Hi everyone, welcome to today's video and welcome back to my channel. Sorry I was out for a little bit. I had a I was in a funky little mood there for a while, but I'm out of it now and I'm so happy to finally have another video up. I missed you guys. And while I was gone, we reached over a thousand subscribers, so I can't thank you guys enough. I didn't think this would happen and I just appreciate all of you. So in today's video, we are gonna be working on my front entrance. As you can see here is awful. Um, on this day, I actually broke my stairs climbing up. Um, there's usually a middle stair right there, but on the day that we bought mobile home stairs, these ones actually, um, that was the day that my stairs decided to break on me. So it was just in time. So the top step on these new stairs, well, they're not really new. I found them on Facebook Marketplace, but new to me um, are a little too tall for my door. So after I go ahead and disassemble the old stairs, I have to dig about two inches deep of, of the foundation in order for those new stairs to fit. When I was starting to dig the ground, um, I that's when I discovered cement there and not only was there one layer there was three so it was kind of a task
this sucker was heavy and my heart sank because once I finally did get it into position it was like half an inch too tall still so I had to tip it over and dig another about two inches but after I did that you can see here that my door now opens and then um, after I did that I went ahead and bought this tread tape the Gorilla brand and I went ahead and taped it on the stairs I am gonna be painting the stairs but I decided to um, put on the tape first just so I would have a place to step because I didn't know if the paint would be dry by the time we needed to go back in the house and this is the only entrance so that's why I did this first so Here's the color I'm going to be painting the stairs. Um, it kind of scared me when I first opened it and first started painting because as you can see here it looked like a bright orange and I was honestly just going to leave it. I hate returning things so it was going to either be orange or it was going to deepen up and thank god it did. <laughs> So since I had this paint out anyways, I decided to go ahead and paint the tongue of this adjoining mobile home. I already had the paint out and there's nothing I could do to move this, so i um, trying to camouflage it a little bit, I guess. <laughs> So now I'm just going to go ahead and brush off the skirting. Ideally I'd want to spray it off with the hose but I don't have a water spigot outside so this was going to have to do for now. So I found these rocks at Walmart for $3.46 a bag and this is what I'm going to be using to fill in the gap between my stairs and the slab of concrete that I left. I found this wooden walkway on Amazon along with um, a bunch of other things I found on Amazon. I'll link everything down below if you guys are interested in anything I use during this makeover. Um, but I absolutely love it. It gave such a different look to the entrance. Both of these mats I got at Dollar General. I initially wanted a black and white buffalo check rug to go underneath this welcome mat that I'm going to lay down in a second. Um, but I couldn't find one big enough, but when I do, I'm going to be replacing it.
And these are palm plants that I got at Walmart that I'm going to be setting in that triangle. Um, once again, it's just to kind of camouflage it because I can't do nothing with it. And it's just an eyesore. But once I put that down or those plants down, it, I think it really changed the way that the front looked. Like now it's starting to look a little tropical. And I love it. And the crazy nights figure I should probably give it a try. So now I'm just placing um, borders of that rock down because in a second I'm going to be um, putting down some red mulch. Um, I had a couple bags left over from when I did my front lawn makeover last year. So they're coming in handy now. Change your mind, trying to save your time. In case you're thinking about breaking out the bucket list, girl, you can skip this funny business. Cause up there it's complicated and overrated. Down here everything is understated. That's all right by me. I got everything that. Frozen feet, raindrops falling on the street. I can't recall when I last saw the sun. Summer's just a memory, a faded piece of history. No one can remember all the fun. The late night barbecue, zipping on a genie juice. Okay, so here are the solar lights I got. I got two different types. These ones are a mason jar and they have the fairy lights inside of them. So, but they're solar, so hopefully it charges by tonight so I can show you guys. And then the second, oh, the second kind I got are these bulb looking kinds but they look like this they're like a broken hold on a they're like a broken glass design and then the solar is right there and they clip so you could clip this onto trees but in my case i'm going to be clipping it onto my fence so so those solar lights along with these shepherd's hooks 
um, I found on Amazon as well. I'm going to be using these hooks to hang those mason jar solar lights. And I'll be hammering them into the ground with a rubber mallet. So I know these hedges just look like dead weeds right now, but I swear they get full of leaves during the summer. So basically all I did was hang up the top solar lights and that was it for the makeover. So um, just a reminder, here's the before how it looked and then here is the after. So even though this was a small space to make over, I think it turned into a big transformation. Um, just the feel of it feels a whole lot better. And my solar lights actually charged enough so I was able to give you guys another shot at night with them. And I absolutely love how it turned out. So I thank you guys for sticking with me through the whole video. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!